this separator is used to demonstrate one of the heat transfer phenomena that is heat transfer by convection. Here we will study the two types of convection, the convection under the free flow and the convection under the forced flow. As you know, under the free flow, the heat transfer gained the laser, heated air gained the heat due to the density difference and in the forced convection, the heated air is flowed by some external means of forced, forced air. Here, as you can see, the apparatus, this apparatus consists of a duct having a dimension of 100 by 100 and 1 meter in the length. This duct consists of measuring points, measuring length for, different, uh, for the measurement of temperatures at different points. The temperature at the inlet of the air, the air can be inlet from here and out from the top, and one temperature sensor at the top for taking the temperature of the excited air, excited air. In between, we can fix plates of different geometries and see how the heated air is affected or we can also find out the and verify the nusslet number of our different geometrical shapes. As you can see, it consists of a attachment with the help of these knobs. With the help of these knobs, you can also find out the temperature at different positions with the thermocouple given. We will insert the thermocouple inside this hole and it will fix into the surface and then we can determine the temperature of that surface. It also consists of a control panel. This control panel consists of all the measuring instruments to find out the various parameters. It consists of a voltmeter, ammeter so that we can know what is the power input to the heater. It consists of velocity. This, ve this velocity meter which tells you the airflow in case of a forced airflow and this DTI will tell you the temperature at different positions, temperature at the inlet of the air, temperature at the outlet of the air and the temperature at different uh, uh, at the surface of the different geometries. It consists of a variate, with the help of this variate you can give power to the heater and you know the power by having the, what the voltage we have given to the heater and what current we have given to the heater by Calculating both these, we can deduce what is the power has been given to the heater. It has an on-off switch, which is the mains. We will switch on the mains, switch on the heaters. With the help of this potentiometer, you can rotate the fan to your desired speed. You can see as I rotate it, Start the fan, start rotating, and we have this flow sensor inserted here. While having this T at the center of the turf in this position, the arrow mark is given here. As you can see, this arrow mark is given here. This arrow mark is given here. When keep this position in this arrow, it will tell you how much air is going from through this tip, and we can thus find out the velocity. Also, we can have different geometries available to this. This is fin plate. This is flat plate. And one which is already installed in the unit is a pipe cutter. The geometry of these SSCs is already given in the manual. The temperatures at the surface when the air is flowing can be of the this center plate can be determined with the help of the thermocouple when inserted between these holes and we will reach to the center of the plate. So we can see how much the air, how the heat, uh, heated air heat is conducting from surface to the farther end and from here to there. Also it is very easy to replace this with the other one as everything is in the other form. You can take it out, you can take this out, place this center here like this and then again put your heater back in the hole. With the help of this scrolling button, you can go between the different temperature sensors installed in the 